All right, good to have you back. Just a quick video today. I was going to uh, do the announcement of the gift guide giveaway, but didn't want to just do an announcement. So we're going to do a little project and then announce that in a little bit. If you've watched the channel for any length of time, you probably know that I use these little Electrosonics PDR recorders. I typically carry these for trade shows, any sort of content creation I'm doing. I'm usually wearing one and then putting the other one on whoever I'm talking to or using it for something you know, silly like this, or I just wanted to get a little bit of higher quality audio of some birds. But the one thing I haven't been able to address yet with these is taking a line level input, talking with Folks at Infocom, you know, Chris Countryman had a really cool demonstration set up with an ONV96 uh, where, you know, he's given a line level output. There's press conferences uh, to cover as well. And also stuff here in the shop. I'm working on a thing with this little Behringer mic 100 and it would just be nice to have a small line level recorder sometimes for testing things like this. Luckily, Electrosonics makes this really easy to do and I'll take this one off here so we can look at it and I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to zoom in on that but these are a TA5F connector and that's a pretty standard connector you see all the time in lavalier microphones. So how do we hook a line level input up to that? Electrosonics, if we jump over to the manual here, has provided us that information. Their manuals are great. Electrosonics does sell this cable but if you need to get this done in the field and you don't have time to order one, they provide you with that in the manual and that's awesome. So. I ordered some TA5F connectors and we're gonna need a female XLR cable. This is gonna be a female to female cable, uh, but we're gonna need a XLR cable to plug into our line level outputs and then we're gonna wire it to a TA5F to plug into our PDR recorder and we'll be all set. And I can wire up two of these. I'm just gonna do one today probably for the line level, but I can also wire one up that would allow me to plug a dynamic microphone into it. These units will power microphones that need uh, a five volt, up to a five volt uh, voltage bias, but they do not provide phantom power for those types of microphones that need that. It's an old Chuck Levin's cable from like years ago. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this because I'm probably gonna make a mess of it if I try to solder around it. I don't know if you can see this, but it's the really tiny hooked tip to help with the TA5 connectors. Do it like that much. How much do I need for a TA5? The boot is tight. But yeah, there we go. There's the actual connector. This goes on at the end, so no need to worry about him. Those are our five pins there. Hopefully, geez, hopefully you can see those. Very small. But yeah, so I need to have just enough exposed to be able to reach there and crimp down on it with these guys. So I'm thinking maybe about that much. See how we need to go about this. Pin one. Oh man, that's hard to show in the camera. Five is center, pin one is up here with the notch out. That makes that really easy then, because we are going, let's double check. We're gonna go pin one and pin five. Cool. So pin one needs to be, this ground needs to be tied to pin one and four. Four is across from that. So I don't know if you can see this on the camera there, but it's pin one is up here. Pin five is in the center, pin four, and then pin two and pin three. So we're gonna be concentrating on pin one for the shield and tying that to pin four. Our line level, our pin two hot is going to go into pin five, and our pin three is also gonna get tied to that pin one, uh, pin four combo.
microphone. Hey, hey, oh yeah. So let's uh, go in here, select uh, mic level. Turn this way down. Hey, hey. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 check one, two. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Let me plug something else in here and we'll get a test. So that worked really well. That was fairly easy. Uh, soldering the TA5F connector is definitely a pain. So I wouldn't look forward to doing a ton of those. It's been a long time since I've done one. These are definitely a challenge. If you are new to soldering, they're great practice and they're really fairly cheap. I think I bought a whole bag of these for only $8 or something. So it's good practice and you're not gonna get into a whole lot of trouble working on something like this. So good times, even if you botch it up and your cables look a little funky, I definitely could not sell my adapter for what Electrosonic sells theirs for. So that's it. So let's jump back over and refresh on the giveaway. We got the NO4 sniffer sender from Sound Tools, the Backstage Handbook. Those are the really the big ticket items there that I would be excited to really dig into. Uh, Sound Tools, I'll just set that back there for now. Sound Tools t-shirt, very nice of them to send that over. This is a Squid Tools uh, lanyard for attaching your tools to your uh, body when you're working overhead. Cool beanie. ESS water bottle, awesome electrosound system, and uh, DC sound up Sharpies, electrosound system pens, the lightsource.com mega combo wrench, and sound tools pouch. And of course, oh, electrosound systems baseball hat. So let's jump over random comment generator and let's give away this awesome stuff from electrosound systems and sound tools. I'm gonna take my small rig clamp that was featured in the video. All right, we're in there. So the way this is gonna work is I'm going to pick somebody out of this 112 comments with the random comment picker. I hope everybody that wanted to leave a comment and enter did. And there's some really awesome comments on here, like a BNC removal extraction tool. That's a really smart tool to have in your bag. I've been in that situation down on the floor, reaching into the back of a case, trying to unplug a BNC from something before in my big fingers were not able to get past the rack gear that it was next to. So really cool idea that I just never would have thought of for something like this. So definitely check those out on dcsoundup.com. Everything in these comments is listed. I'm gonna hit the random comment picker and we will have a winner very soon. Here we go. Oh no, it reloaded. Our, our winner was Steven Stange, though, and his comment was, I screenshotted it, luckily. There it is over here. Whew, glad I screenshot that. I just realized after I did that that I had uh, ad blocker running, and I turned it off and it reloaded. So our winner was Steven Stange, and his comment was for the label printer, and that's a great idea. Label printer's a really cool thing to have. I actually need to get one here for labeling some new cables and things like the uh, electrosonics cable that I made tonight. So Steven, we will get that mailed out to you right away, and I'll be in touch to get all your details. Thanks to everybody that participated and that left a comment. Find all of the suggestions that you've submitted and there's so much cool stuff on here. It's all under the gift guide at dcsoundup.com. Thanks again to Electro Sound Systems and Sound Tools for sending over such awesome giveaways for this year. But I'll be back very soon with another video.